shall now examine book two. In book one, we were allowed to count our x's and our units out individually. We would get out our x square, count out the number of x's we needed. We would then count out the number of units we needed and we would build our rectangle. In book two, we are no longer allowed to use individual x's. In book two, we must use multiples of x. Here you can see that we can get x's in multiples of two x's, three x's, four x's, five, six, seven, eight, up to nine x's. Let's look at a problem in book two and see how this is done. We are still allowed to count out our units individually. We will look at the problem x squared plus 6x plus 8. We will get out our x squared. We will also get out our 8 units. We are not allowed to count out our x's, so we will pass the x's by for now and count out eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we learned to factor that we would always try how many x's on the side? First of all, we would try one x on the side and place the rest on the top. The child must place the rest of the x's on the top. Of his six x's, he has used one. Does the child how know how many more need to go on top? No, he hasn't learned his addition facts yet. So, he must come over and try to find the correct amount of x's to place on the top. Let's suppose the child got the wrong amount of x's to place on the top. Well, first of all, he wants to check to make sure that he's got six x's. One, two, three, four, five. No, one and four was not correct. That gave him a total of five x's. Did the child waste his time by getting the wrong amount? No, the child is learning addition facts. The child is learning that one and four makes five, not six. This time the child gets one, two, three, four, five x's. Does that make six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, one and five make six. First of all, we tried one on the side and five on top. We place our units in the corner. And they don't all fit. If they don't all fit, we must try not one on the side, but how many on the side? Two. We will get our multiple of two x's on the side. Now we must figure out two plus how much more makes six. The child may be counting on his fingers, two, three, four, five, six, that is fine. Or he may be counting the bars up here, two, three, four, five, six. Or he may just guess, try to get the one, but the child will eventually discover by checking that two and four makes six. In fact, the child might even get out the six and place them here so that he can place the two amounts together to see if they add up to six. The child tries two on the side, four on the top, and places the units in the corner. 
What is the child learning by doing this? The child doesn't even know he is learning his addition facts, but indeed he is learning his addition facts. We have now factored the problem. Our factors are x plus 2 over x plus 2 over x plus 4 up. 